Liam McAdoo with Infowars.com. We're here at the RNC and here at the premiere of Hillary's America with Dinesh D'Souza. How are you doing here tonight? Very exciting to be here for the film. I'm super excited to be here. Um, this movie can play a big role in unifying the Republican Party, but also uh, giving it to Hillary and the Democrats. My Obama movie four years ago was just about Obama. This one is about progressivism and the whole sordid, repulsive history of the Democratic Party. We lay it all out there. And so it, uh, I'm very excited to be sharing this message with delegates who can carry it uh, all across the country. Right, and you say Hillary's America is going to be utterly terrifying. You would, you would know. You've actually been had firsthand experience of uh, someone with major political power using that power to target their political opponents. What would you want to say to the opponents of Hillary Clinton if, if she becomes president? Well, I think that there's a. I've seen a kind of a thuggishness in American politics that wasn't there before. Um, in the, I'm a, I'm a product of the Reagan era. And, you know, you had people who disagreed, Reagan, Mondale, Dukakis, and it was a sort of a gentleman's fight. Uh, but these guys who are in there now, are uh, um, their idea is that if you disagree with them, they kind of want to put you out of business, they want to lock you up, they want to get take you off the stage, so to speak. Obama is, is there's a gangster streak in Obama, but his goals are ideological. His gangsterism is the means. Hillary, I think, is a gangster par excellence. That's her MO. That's who she is. And so I'm a little worried that uh, Hillary presidency would essentially uh, bring a sort of third world uh, gangster mentality to the United States. Absolutely. And, and talk about no government accountability. What did you think of the reaction to her FBI probe and then now they're pushing it back? They're not going to delve into the Clinton Foundation for 27 more months. Well, one thing I learned in confinement was that uh, we as conservatives and as Republicans, it's just foolish for us to cross our fingers and wait for other people to do our work. We have to do our own work. So all the Republicans who kind of naively were saying, oh, wait till the FBI indicts her. No, the FBI is under Obama's thumb. Loretta Lynch works for Obama. Obama's been signaling for two months, Hillary's my gal, leave her alone. So I was not optimistic this would happen. Uh, and, and in fact, we've uh, went ahead with the Hillary movie in the full confidence that she would be the nominee. Right, absolutely. And so one last question, obviously breaking news out today, some more police officers slain there in Baton Rouge. Did you think years ago making Obama's America that this would be happening, police officers would be targeted, uh, potential civil war, we're seeing massive racial uh, imbalance here. I mean, what do you think about this? You know, and the way I look at it is that the, the liberal plantation is boiling over. And what I mean by that is that the left has over 50 years uh, taken the old plantation model that was a rural model when you had slave uh, quarters and all, and, and recreated the plantation in the inner city. Except now it's not just for blacks, it's barrios for Hispanics and reservations for the American Indians and slums. And so these are horrible places to live. The family structure is broken down, there's no hope. It's very difficult. You get a meager living, basic health care, but you got basic health care on the old slave plantation as well. And so the left has created this. This is, demo this is the product of the Democratic Party. They have to answer for it. And I think a lot of the urban strife comes out of the hopelessness of that environment created by the left and the Democrats. Absolutely. Who are you going to vote for? Who should America vote for? Uh, I'm going to, well, I can't vote because I'm a convicted enemy of the state. So I'm not going to be voting, but I'm going to try to convince millions of people to vote for Trump and to vote a straight Republican ticket. American politics is fought in teams. And so at the end of the day, there's only one group that can stop Hillary and the Democrats. That's Trump and the Republicans. You know, it's like 150 years ago. Who could stop slavery? Not even the abolitionists. It was only the Republican Party. So by, by winning the 1860 election, the Republican Party set off the train of events that brought slavery to an end. Uh, the, it's the Republican Party is the party to vote for straight down the line. Thank you so much. Really excited to see the movie. Thank you. Thank you.
The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. The brainwashing media machine has been turned up on high and it's time for humanity to double down on the true people's media and strike back against the tyrants that are destroying our civilization with their lies and fraud. We are the resistance. You are the resistance. You are the info war. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv.